So I have 25, basically 25 reels in my boat, bait casters. Uh, 23 of them are 8.5 to ones. That's how I've been fishing, just about everything. Uh, the advantages of that, and I take that back. I do have, I do crank with a Corrado, which is a, it's a 7.2 to one or 7 to one. It's about a 7 to one, but it has a bigger spool in a 200. So it's a bigger spool. So even though it's a 7 to one, it's got, it's got a, a bigger spool, so you're pulling more line than a typical 7 to one. It's actually 7 to two. 7 2 to one, right? I'm not even sure. But I use that reel for cranking. Um, the advantages are endless to me. Uh, if you're casting and a fish blows up over here, you make a long cast. If you have a seven to one, you're throwing top water and that fish blows up over here, it's gonna take you, you're gonna be five or 10 feet behind the eight five to one. So I'm gonna be in a few seconds before a seven to one could get in. And that's all the difference in the world. I, you know how important two seconds is when a fish is busting or on fire and he's chasing bait. That's one of the advantages. Uh, also advantages of an eight five to one or a high gear ratio are when you get bit, <clears throat> on high gear ratio, you don't set the hook as much. Uh, you do, but you know we always say you kind of get pressure on the fish before you set the hook, especially on some baits. Well, the A5 to one allows me to uh, instead of doing three, you know, three cranks, I do two cranks. So when you're when you're like setting a hook on a fish, or say a fish eats a topwater bait, and you have an A5 to one, uh, instead of kind of having a swing on it because you have no gear ratio left because you've made a long cast and all your line's gone on your reel, with the A5 to one, um, you find yourself just giving it a crank shot just cranking on them instead of trying to swing them or trying to reel fast on them, you really just go and that's what the 8.5 to 1 does. And what it does is, you know, instead of kind of pulling the bait away or kind of having to jerk it to get a hook in them, as you're getting, you're loading the getting pressure on the fish really quick. And if you don't get pressure on the fish, you know fast, so you can drop the bait back down and let it go so the fish eats it again. Um, also, another advantage of a 8.5 to 1 or high gear ratio is when you hook a fish on a long cast, uh, <clears throat> Chesapeake tournament, the Chesapeake tournament this year was a prime example of that, throwing in between the pylons that were encrusted in barnacles. They were, had an inch of barnacles all the way around them. Very, very abrasive. I actually know for goodness, I broke four fish off, even with the 8.5 to 1, but I was skipping in between pylons, and sometimes some of those, especially that seven pounder, he was 20 feet past that opening that was this wide. And so if I didn't have the 8.5 to 1, if I had a seven to one, that fish, if he would got his head turned and got some leverage on me, I probably would have broke him off. But I had, I've caught, all my fish were like that. Almost all my fish were between objects that had, that if you touch them, you're, you're gonna lose the fish. So when I hooked this fish, I just grinded as hard as I could and pulled them out of there, and then they never get their heads turned. Another advantage is when a fish jumps, at a distance, uh, usually by the time that fish jumps, if it's you know less than four, even four and five pounders, I've tail walked to the boat. Once they get up and jump, they're kind of, when they're coming up the jump, you can pull that fish to you to, so he can't jump, which is really cool. And what happens is he goes to jump, and at that point, you pull the rod down and start winding. And this is about all my fish catches, and I don't lose that many fish anymore. And I think a lot of it is the hooks I'm using, and also the, the high gear ratio. But what happens is that fish jumps, and you pull him down, and he starts to try to jump the whole time, but he can't get his head up to shake his head, so he goes like this, back to the boat. And what happens, I've done this, uh, well, thousands of times in the last, since the, eight, the high gear ratio is before he can shake his head, he's in, the, he's in my boat. And there's actually more advantages than that. Um, you know, if you're fishing a, a moving bait, say a reaction bait or a swim bait, or this is a swim bait here, or a buzz bait or a spinner bait or, or a square bill, and you're going down a bank at two miles an hour and cranking, and if you're using so gear ratio, it's not, gonna, it's not the best way. Um, what happens is you're already kind of maxed out, and what happens is you get bit. <clears throat> if he happens, comes at you, or if it's a really an important fish and you need to get that fish in the boat and he's small and he's he's so small that he can't but he's an important fish and, and you don't have anything to keep up with him and he jumps and he gets slack line and he throws that crankbait or whatever you're throwing. Uh, so it, there's so many advantages, it's, it's almost countless, uh, the benefits of a high gear ratio, but really what I like the most about it is when you're moving two miles an hour and you're not having to spin your handle, you're actually doing this. You're actually fishing at a normal speed instead of having that real fast like that which is what we used to do in the past. Now I'm going like this. And that makes all the difference in the world. Cause I mean, I still have so much speed I can gain on that fish when he does hit the bait. So if you haven't experimented with it, I always tell people, you know, if you're gonna throw a spinner bait or a square bill or a buzz bait, anything like the reaction moving bait, especially shallow water, a swim jig or something like that, um, you definitely wanna try a high gear show and give it a shot. My favorite's a Shimano Matinium. 
which uh, it's a long lasting reel. This reel will last uh, if you take care of it indefinitely. Um, super well built, good reel. But uh, there's a bunch of options out there too. I'm not trying to sell this, I'm just trying to sell the gear ratio. But you know, give it a shot, it doesn't hurt.